Hi guys, it's Patricia and welcome to Tester Tuesday. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Tester Tuesday is a way for me to review two Scentsy scents each week with you guys. I also get to diminish my big stash of testers and as a community, you guys vote whatever scents are in the lead after Wednesday morning. Those are the ones I warm and review for the following week. So how did we do last week? We had 178 votes. In first place, we have this dark maroon colored wax. I did save a little piece of the wax to show you. And it is called Aussie Plum and that had 30% of the vote. And in second place, I forgot to save the wax, but it was white. And it's an old retired scent called Blessings. And this one had 25% of the vote. So let's talk about our first place scent this week. It is Aussie Plum. And guess what? I, I've reviewed this for Tester Tuesday and totally forgot. I did it almost two years ago, uh, early January 2019. So we'll try to whiz through this, but it's funny, I did watch the video. So what I was doing was I was trying to find out when this was a new release. It was a spring and summer scent. I would put it in the fruity category. And it was a new release and I wanted to know what it was. So I Googled it and there my video popped up and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so mistake and blonde moment. Anyway, I'm cold. This is pretty strong, I find. And like I said, fruity scent. So the scent description for Aussie Plum, it says a melange of juicy plum, pink grapefruit, and tart pomegranate with smooth vanilla. Right off the bat, I don't really get vanilla. And also, I don't get a lot of obvious grapefruit. I feel like there is a little bit of a bright tone in here, and maybe that is the grapefruit. But I get a lot of plum. It's somewhat tart, somewhat sour, but not too bad. And I get pomegranate again. I get a, a tart pomegranate with that one. And there's something in this scent that reminds me so much of Blueberry Rush, like a plum version of Blueberry Rush. So I feel like there's currant in here because I know there's black currant and Blueberry Rush. And it gives it like a dusty, deep, rich currant note. Not a red currant, a, a black currant. But that is kind of what I get from this. So this is not obviously my first experience. I've warmed this in Tester Tuesday and totally forgot about it. So what does that tell you? <laughs> and I have warmed a bar. And I recently gifted a bar to a friend of mine because I, I know she wanted to try it. And I remember thinking it was okay for me. Not a, a big love or anything like that. And back when I first smelled this in January of 2018, as I bring back my bar, I absolutely loved it. So it's just an example of how your scent preferences have changed. Over time, my fruity preferences have definitely diminished. I don't tend to gravitate towards fruity. My daughter definitely gravitates towards fruity. But anyway, let's talk about performance. I only had this, one little tester. So I put this in my son's room. He has the smallest bedroom in the house and he has the Spider-Man warmer, which is a pretty good solid warmer, 25 watt ceramic. Uh, strength to throw there is about eight out of 10 at maximum. I left it going three days, a total of 26 hours and then I removed it. So I, I don't know, if you like scents like Blueberry Rush, um, maybe Country Plum without the woodsy notes, what else do I have written down? Plum scents that are a good sweet and tart balance, uh, maybe even Black Raspberry Vanilla, you might like this. This would probably be um, open, concept, open concept worthy or uh, kitchen, where else would I warm this? Obviously my daughter's room. <laughs> um, if you're someone that likes plum scents, this is not really like plum and White Woods Plum, it is not really like Sweet Plum Pastry Plum. Think more current, juicy, tartness, pomegranate plum. And would I repurchase this? No, not personally for me, but I de definitely know there are so many people that love this one. So I'm probably um, a rare breed, not absolutely loving this. And I would recommend it for performance though, and that is Aussie Plum. So let's talk about our second place scent this week. It is called Blessings. Sorry about the lighting, it's so bright here this morning. I've played with the blinds, I just can't get it under control. On Cold Snip, I would say this is about a medium intensity scent. I think I would put this in the spice category. It was a December 2014 scent of the month, so good to know. Now, it's a very long scent description, let me read it to you. It says, welcome to the warmth of home, family gatherings, and holiday traditions with blessings. A classic blend of aromatic spices, which include ground nutmeg, clove, cinnamon bark, sandalwood and amber. Very, very long. So when I smell this, it reminds me of a clean, fresh, spicy scent. Hard to describe. There's something about it that reminds me of church, like almost like on Christmas Eve, that smell of church with, with like oils or that kind of stuff. I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah. 
Let me read you something I came across as I was trying to find out some more about this. It's a little bit long, but bear with me. It says, talking about blessings, it says, classic holiday fragrance of cloves, cinnamon, and nutmeg are elevated to the sublime with amber and sandalwood adding an element of elegance and refinement. I would say yes. Just in time for the most sacred of holidays, share some blessings with your loved ones. Scentsy bar style. Rich and layered scents of familiar spices define the many leveled profile of this complex fragrance. I would say yes. Mixing the traditional seasonal baking spices, nutmeg, cinnamon, and clove with exotic sandalwood and amber brings a feeling of the wonder of the season. The combination reminding all of the gifts brought centuries ago to celebrate the holiest of nights. I don't know, but I feel like whoever wrote this <laughs> kind of hit the nail on the head. There's like this warm, warm medley of spices, but I feel like there's a coolness to it. And it also reminds me of the smell of something to do with church or Christmas season. I don't really know. Now, as this was warming for a bit, it actually changed much later on in the warming. And there's something in it that reminded me of cozy fireside. But I wasn't sure what I was going to think about this scent because one of my subscribers said that a lot of people don't like this, but she liked it. And I actually enjoyed it somewhat. I would not repurchase this, but I, I didn't dislike it by any means. So what I did was I put these two testers, which is about a cube and a half's worth, in my bedroom here in the Winter Stag 25 watt ceramic warmer, which I love. And I left it going 23 hours over three days. It still had scent when I removed it. Now this was not overly strong for me. It was about six out of 10 at the most. And then it kind of dipped down to like about a four out of 10 and it just friggin' stayed at four out of 10 when I felt like forever. <laughs> So when I removed it, did it still have a little bit of scent? Yes, it did. I just wanted to move on. I had been warming it for three days and I was, I was done with the scent. And I'm, at this point, I usually say, if you like blah, 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 you'll probably like this. But there's not really a scent that I can really think of that reminds me of this. It's a little bit different. Um, I would warm this in a bedroom, a TV room, maybe a small entrance way. So would I repurchase Blessings if given the chance? So let's say bring back my bar kits were available and you had to buy the whole kit early. I would get it. I would warm it. I would be okay with it. If they did it like this year where you could buy individual bars without having to buy the whole kit in advance, I probably would not get it. But it's not that I dislike it. I just, it wasn't an overly hit for me. So anyway, interesting scent, different, very different, but uh, yeah, that's blessings. Okay, so now we're going to draw for six cents to vote on for the week. So if you're new to my channel, basically you're gonna only pick two scents. Please pick two different scents by early Wednesday morning. You can vote down in the comment section below. And like I always say, if you do not have the ability to comment on YouTube videos, then find my Instagram post. It's Patricia Gates, put your two votes there. Now hopefully I don't draw scents that I've already reviewed, <laughs> but you know how things go. So scent number one, let's go in the small bag first. I kind of have them divided into smaller things and bigger things. Scent number one is going to be Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Scent number two, Orange Clove Pomander. Scent number three, Clove and Cinnamon. Set number four, let's do a single. We'll do a couple singles. Set number four, pink tulips. Set number five, ooh, this one. Ace. And set number six, let's go back in here. Set number six, Dolce de Leche. A lot of brown, brown colored wax down here. Brown and beige. <laughs> okay, scent number one is blonde. Oops. This is blonde wood and moonflower. It's a retired scent. Scent number two is orange clove pomander. And I do have a bar of this. So if you vote for that, I will have more to warm. I definitely don't need more to warm for this if you vote for this. This is clove and cinnamon. This is currently available as a fall and winter scent in the catalog right now. Pink tulips. That is a retired scent. And I do have more of this. So if you vote for that, I will be able to warm more. Ace, have I ever, I've never warmed Ace for sure. Okay, and it does have some scent. So that is a retired scent. 
And scent number six, which I also have a bar of that I've never warmed before, is Dolce de Leche. Obviously a caramel-based bakery type scent. So as always, thanks for spending the last few minutes with me. I hope you guys have a great day in your neck of the woods. Take care. Don't forget to vote. And I will see you guys in the next video.